We're going to do It's My Life by Bon Jovi. Original key sounds like this. <laughs> But we're going to make it a little bit easier so we don't have to deal with E flats and bar chords and everything. So we're going to add a capo and it's going to end up something like this. And here we go. So please put your capo on, fret number three. Make sure you've got a copy of the PDF explaining the tabs and the chords and everything else. And we're going to break it down to make it playable for someone that's new to guitar. It's going to make it into an acoustic piece. It's going to sound really nice. Uh, it works really well even for a nylon string guitar. And I'm going to switch the overdrive off now. Say goodbye to this. And say hello to this. And let's focus now in on our fretting hand for starters. As mentioned, capo number three, fret number three. You can see I keep my capo nice and close to the actual fret itself, so there's no chance of um, having a misunderstanding that there's an extra fret there. So try not to have your capo too far this way. Try and hug it nice and close to the third fret. Now, on the tab that I sent you on the PDF as well, you'll notice at the top corner it says a zero double two written vertically in a row. The zero is the open fifth string. You can hear and actually see it vibrating. And my first finger I have placed on fret 2. This is my new fret number 1. This is my new fret number 2. Because your capo is replacing what the nut used to do. So you can almost see this capo as your new nut. Okay, so your first finger should be fret 2 on the middle 2 strings. And if your first finger touches the bottom 2 strings, it's fine. Because you shouldn't strum it anyway. So your first 3 notes... <laughs> Played together should sound like this and it's a double strum because you can see it's two vertical rows now the trick of here is to play the intro without moving finger number one so you're going to use for the zero after the the double strum open the fifth string middle finger number two comes onto the third fret fifth string then the next note your first finger has it covered already so that's the two that comes through after that middle finger back down for the three pause it a bit and go back to the second fret with the first finger on it so slow motion hold it and let go now i'm going to change angle a little bit quickly first and now we can see the strumming action. You can see I'm resting from the fifth string down. I'm going to include the double stroke. Those are the three strings I'm going to strike together. And there's the riff. New. You play it through twice. Now, if you know the words, and I'm sure you do, um, once he's done this introduction through twice, he sings the center song for the broken hearted. So you're going to play through this again, if you want to play through with me, one, two, three, four, and... Now one strum, and he sings this in a song for the broken hearted. I'm not going to sing because I'm going to scare you away. And once he's done that little vocal line, you do the riff again. And then silent prayer for the faith departed. Again, the guitar goes quiet while he sings that phrase. Listen to the original. Like I said, with the capo on, it's going to sound fantastic. And you do this riff again. So there's a lot of pauses there. Now I'm going to change the angle for the next part. We're on to the third line of the first verse. Now when he sings, and I ain't going to be just a face in the crowd. That is still the same chord it's an a5 power chord just so by the way it implies the chord a minor but i don't want to go into the theory now bottom line don't move your first finger yet <laughs> okay so while he sings that i ain't gonna be just a face in the crowd all that's happening is you're counting one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then he goes to a d i'll show you no d d looks like that third finger there you can, if you want to, do an abbreviation and just do this as well for D if you want to. Because you're not meant to strum 
that bottom string. Okay, so it's going to change angle a bit quickly to explain it better. For the A now, for ain't going to be just a face in the crowd, you're strumming strings five, four, three. A little bit of palm damping, so you're bringing your palm onto the bridge over here. I'm going to rest like this so you can hear my string is slightly muffled. Like that. And there's my A chord, and I'm going to count one and two and three and four and twice. And then I'm going to change to D. You can see my fingers changing into the D. You can see the shape nice and clear. And now I'm going to strum from the fourth string, one, two, those three strings, strings four, three, and two. And I'm also going to count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then after that, a lot of things to remember here, I'm going to do a double strum. Okay, so I'm going to put it together. Here we go. There's my A5. One, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and Then you start to the chorus, It's My Life. Now, back to your fretting hand. And we're going to start with an A minor chord. Now, as I said earlier, this is a really nice song to play if you're new to guitar. It covers the basics. Uh, the capper just simplifies it. Otherwise, you have to play bar chords, which look like this. And my cap has gone now. <laughs> okay. um, so we simplify this down to make it a really interactive, nice song to start with. A minor, finger one on the second string, you can see it nice and clear. Finger two goes over here, finger three goes under the third string. And you strum it from the fifth string down. So your chord should sound like this. That's your A minor. Next up, the chord F, a very important chord, although the F doesn't necessarily stand for favorite or fun, but it's a chord we all need to learn. Finger one, flat, first fret, bottom two strings, so on those two strings. Middle finger number two goes into the third string, ring finger goes into the fourth string, and you play from the fourth string down, so we're going to have this. There's my F chord. Next up, we're going to have the chord C. I'm sure we should know C by now. First finger on the second string only, so it's no longer flat like it was in the F. It's now on the tip. You see the angle difference? There's my flat for the F and the tip for the C. My middle finger comes into the fourth, ring finger to the fifth, talking string numbers, because we always count one, two, three, four, five, six from the bottom. There's a C chord. We strum him from the fifth string, should sound like this. And we finish with G, which is quite a common chord as well. Finger one on the fifth string, middle finger on the sixth, ring finger all the way down to the bottom. And if you want to, some guitarists actually use the ring and pinky at the bottom so you can play your G like this. I'm happy with that. Or you can play it like that. I'm not too phased with that. Both are going to work quite nicely. Now, for the strumming pattern that actually is on the page as well. I am using a pick, as you can see. You may use your fingers, so you can strum like this. And notice slow motion. I'm strumming with my first finger, and it's this movement in slow motion. So with a finger strum, down, down, up, up, down. And if I'm using my pick, I'm holding it between my thumb and my first finger. Same, down. And the strumming pattern for the chorus is on your PDF as well. Now we're going to go through one bar of A minor, one bar of F. Remember the first finger flat, you can see better from this angle. C, you can see my first finger is lifted up for the C. G, different angles over here. And we're going to put them all together. But watch on the second time round, the C disappears. So it's A minor, F, C, G. Then A minor, F, G. C disappears a second time. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and second time round. And those last two single notes are going to be riff number two, it's at the bottom of the page. It's fret number three, counting from your capo's new position. So you're going to play this note. That's on the word it's. On the word my, it's, my, 
back to your life. So if you do the whole chorus, it's going to be something like this. Here we go, the entire chorus, because everything we've learned so far for the chorus has to go through twice. Chorus time. One, two, three, four. Skip the C this time, straight to G. So it's my, back to A minor. C's back again with Frankie and he did it his way. Back to G, it's my, and then, and you're back to the beginning. Now that in essence is all the different parts that we need for It's My Life. Like we said, we've simplified it quite a bit, so we're not using the power chords, we're not using overdrive. This is designed and sort of prepared for someone that's got an acoustic guitar, it's still new to guitar, um, you can play it obviously on electric as I just did. But it's sort of simplified so you can just get to play a really cool song nice and easily. And if you've got any comments or questions, don't hesitate to drop me a WhatsApp. Wishing you an awesome day and chat soon. Cheers.